Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about at what age Kirby and I were at when we had a $100,000 net worth. So net worth, guys, in case you don't know, is everything that you own minus everything that you owe. So, you know, your cars, your house, cash, whatever, minus all the debt that you got, whatever that number is, that is your net worth. But Kirby, what age were you? Uh, this, this is a true story. Before I say what age I was, I went from a $0 net worth when I lived with my parents straight to the negative. I didn't even get, I didn't even have $1 in positive net worth before I went negative. Uh, true story. So I, I joined the military and then I had, I never opened up a bank account before. I opened up a bank account and it is, I can't remember the name of the bank. It's so long ago. Uh, but I opened up a bank just so I can, you know, join the military because, uh, you know, a stipulation for joining the military. And then the bank, because you open up a new checking account, they put $10 into the checking account. And then, so I'm thinking I got $10 to spend, but all it is, is just $10 sitting there just to show you have a positive balance in your account until your paycheck show up. So before I head off to basic training, I was like, oh, I got $10 and I got a card. I'm about to go swipe my card and go get me some chips and a soda from the store across the street. So it went through and then the bank proceeded to call my recruiter and said he overdrafted his account. So that's how I started off in the financial bank. <laughs> that's at 19 years old. So it was, it was bad. So it only continued to go bad from there. I went to the military. I got some paychecks and things like that. But I mean, as documented on this channel many times of the bonehead mistakes I made. I proceeded to go in debt, but I didn't get to a hundred thousand dollars net worth until I was thirty years old. Thirty years old is when I reached a yeah, thirty years old is when I hit a hundred thousand dollar net worth. And then from there it just it just ballooned. I think I think I've two X or three X every year since I was thirty years old. And um what did it consist of? Just stocks or consisted of mutual funds and stocks that was it i mean i had a little cash uh -huh. but that was it mutual funds and stocks okay, okay. it just came from literally paying off all the debt first and then just taking all my paychecks and just investing 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 so on your uh on your financial journey i know you had a minute to think about it so <laughs> yeah when did you hit that big that big six figures i was 22 when I hit it um yeah and I felt like I was rich <laughs> but then I was then I realized that <laughs> <laughs> then I realized I ain't going I ain't nowhere yet shoot but yeah it was fun <laughs> I look back on it now and I'm like what was I thinking like I I literally thought like wow like I was like man I crossed it but um yeah now I look back and like that's a joke <laughs> like, so like, what age was you when you started so did you really start getting focused on getting to that 100,000? I think I really started maybe like 19, like 19, 20, around there. And um, it was, I mean, and my job was basic. I mean, I was making like $11 an hour or something like that. Um, I just kept my expenses really low and just like, I just wanted to hit the number. Um, but I mean, by that time I had like, we had our house, the house that we lived in. And then, it, so it consisted of that plus like savings and some stocks. And then, um, yeah, pretty much that, that was what made up the net worth. But yeah, that was so when you when you, when you realized you had a hundred thousand dollars net worth. What happened? Just just talk me through that. This no, funny. I just like I I realized it, and then I was like, man, I can't retire off of this. <laughs> like I was, I was like, this doesn't mean nothing. Like I just remember, and it's just so funny because I look back on it, and me looking back on it now, I think it's a small number, but then like. At the time, I thought it was like, I mean, it literally felt like I hit a million dollars, like, and it was just a hundred grand. But, um, like, I just, I, I, when I hit it, I just remember being like, 
excited but then after the fact i was like i was like man like that's just net worth like that's coming from the house you know i can't get it from the house i'd have to like sell the house and i was like if i sell the house then like all these fees are gonna come out and stuff like i got you know taxes and all that i was like man uh, it's not really doesn't really make sense because really cash amount cash and stock amount was probably like at that time i think 30 40 000. so yeah i mean it holds you over for like maybe eight ten months a year or so but that's yeah it's like <laughs> i still got like I don't know how many years left of life so you know it, it you you definitely realize it's not gonna you're not you're not set yet all right so it took so roughly about three years that that was roughly where i started at i mean first for me i had to get rid of get rid of the debt first so i started at 28 and then yeah around 30 so about two years it took me so I spent the whole year of course deploying paying off all the debt then selling the house to break even and then it was just 100% plowing every dime we had 80% of our income into investments. By then we left the house and we lived in an apartment. And then I always tell people being being a good steward of money, opportunities show up. Now when I was when I was needing a job, I mean when I was needing it bad, I couldn't get a phone call to save my life. And then that's why I had to volunteer to uh, go to Iraq to deploy. But then I started saving money, you know, being a good steward of money. Then phone calls came came out the butt just for different job opportunities. I mean, at that time, I was working at Toyota in the paint department in San Antonio, Texas, and then got a phone call for a job offer. I mean, literally, they called me for a job offer that paid me 10 times what I was making at Toyota. And then because, and this is the key part, because I had the money that I had set aside and I've been investing, investing, investing this whole time. It gave me the opportunity to say, okay, job, I'm leaving you. And now remember, I didn't, you know, I was, I left the military. I couldn't find a job to save my life. So this is my first full time, you know, job since I've been out the military. And I was able to be like, all right, I'm leaving this job and taking another job uh, in another state because I had the financial security to, you know, hold me over that time until I got a paycheck from the next job. So yeah, about about two or three years, if you get real serious about it, you can go from zero to 100,000, or in my case, negative 250,000 to 100,000 net worth. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all it takes. It's just like that dedication. Cause like, I think it was honestly, like you said, how it started to like 2X, 3X after that, like it was definitely easier to go from 100,000 to 200,000. Like that 100,000 was a pain and it just felt so slow. Um, but, and then once you hit it, you know, all the, re you know, reality kicks in. And I remember hitting my first 100,000, like, like liquid, like cash and stocks and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, it was funny, you were like, yeah, so you still feel broke, don't you? <laughs> I was like, I was like thinking of it i was like yeah i do <laughs> it was yeah. like you know you realize yeah. like with the cost of everything and you know what it you know because during this whole i think i think that net worth number or you know hitting an income number a net worth number like that figure like you're just thinking like how much do i need to just like be independent and yeah. you start to realize like shoot like you start to add everything up and like you know estimate how much you know how many years you're gonna live and all that and you're like wow it's gonna take a lot of money to be able to just be set so you know it never stops the grind never stops yeah the network number then you realize the network number don't matter because you can't spend the network yeah exactly you do is spend cash flow yeah. so it's it's a different dynamic yeah. exactly and i think later on too after passing that i realized if i just focus on getting the assets getting stocks getting the properties that net worth number will just grow on its own. Like just focus on putting the income that, that cash flow coming outside the job. True. With all that being said though, guys, if you have any comments or if you hit a hundred thousand, let us know what age you were in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.